Hello, all of you fine folks out there in YouTube world. It is Heath. It is the Groovy Goat Hunter, and I've got a pay dirt. I'm in my garage, and as usual, my beautiful backdrop of crap. We have a review, and it is a repeat, but man, I'm going to tell you something. It is hard finding gold pay dirt right now. So hard that there's a lot of companies that I have reviewed time and time again that has absolutely no pay dirt. This company did have some pay dirt, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and it is the gold bag, which only can mean gold bay, and that is what we have, and we are going to get into it right after the intro. All right, you would think by now I knew how to do an intro and I still don't know how, so whatever. All right, so yes, I got a one gram guaranteed bag of Gold Bay. This is a one gram bag. We're going to open it up, but first we're going to weigh it. I think it was a three pound bag. Pretty sure it's a three pound bag, but we're gonna weigh it just to see. I've got a brand new camera as well. So I'm hoping that this camera, which is a GoPro, I got the GoPro 13 and I'm hoping that this does well, but here's the pay dirt. Here is my scale. Let's weigh her. Yeah, three pounds, one ounce. So it's a three pound bag. So let me open it up. But yeah, it's been very hard finding gold pay dirt from vendors there's about five or six that does not have any pay dirt at all the price of gold right now it's insane so i guess everybody's buying up all the pay dirts here it is the gold bay pay dirt looks a lot like the other two that i did pioneer poly and brian thomas thomas brian whatever his name was i'm gonna shut up we're gonna start classifying starting with the four mesh or the quarter inch and let's dump it in there. It's very dry, by the way. I forgot to tell you guys that. Super, super dry. Woo! I want to cap this fast. I don't want all that dust getting on my... Oh, God, bless. Brand new camera, which is too late. <laughs> Quarter inch is always the loudest, too. All right, there's the quarter inch, and I'm not going to bore you with the rest of it. I'm going to fast forward it. Let's go to high speed right now. So here they are, six classifications. There they are, we're gonna start with the plus quarter inch or the plus four mesh, followed by the 10 mesh, 20 mesh, 40 mesh, 60 mesh, and all of that, and when I say all of that, I mean that dust right there is minus 60. That's what was so strange about it. Usually you'll get a lot of the plus 60, a lot of minus 60, but it's all 40, 20, 10, and quarter inch. Barely any 60 and under. All right, guys, welcome to another day. That was a horrible, horrible way to start an intro the way I did yesterday. I apologize. So without further ado, let's not even talk about it. Let's go over here and let's start panning this Gold Bay pay dirt. Here it is right here. This is the minus 60. We always start low and go up. So I'm probably just going to dump this whole thing in there because it's really just dust. It's mostly going to be mud. And here we go. That's probably good enough. I'm gonna tap it back and yeah. Oh, wait, one. Wait, nope, where'd it go? I think I just washed it away. Oh, here it is, right here. I think that's gold. Yeah, it's definitely gold, cause now it's floating, cause I stuck my oily fingers in there. So that's definitely a piece of gold. You can't even see it, so I don't know why I'm making a big deal out of this little piece of gold, but I'll show it to you if you can see it. So I got me another camera for my gold vlogging videos, my vacation voyager videos. GoPro came out with the brand new GoPro 13. Basically the same camera as the 12, the 11, the 10. Not much has changed with the exception of a couple of things. Anytime I do pay dirt reviews for you guys, I'm always using this camera. I'm always using my GoPro. It's just very easy. I can hook my external mic to it. My microphone sounds better with this camera than it does my higher end cameras. And it just works better. The only downfall with this GoPro camera is close-ups. 
and I have been using my phone sometimes for close-ups on gold, especially very, very small gold. This camera has a new macro lens that I can attach to it. What's great about that is if I wanna do close-ups, and I'm going to put it on later on. I'm not gonna do this whole video tonight. As far as panning, I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, but the macro lens is supposed to be able to get very close up and get better quality pictures, if you will, or video when I get right on top of my gold or whatever I get on top of. So hopefully this will work better. Plus, it's supposed to have a longer battery life with the new 13 the overheating issue is not supposed to be near as bad so we'll see how it goes but anyway that's the story of the gopro 13 i don't know why i tell you guys these things but all right i'll shut up let's get to uh 60 mesh plus 60 then there it is the last time i did a go nugget sales review he had talked about or i watched one of his videos and he was talking about back in january how gold prices will go up to about 2600 dollars by the end of the year right now they're at what 20 i think they're 2650 somewhere in that range how he knew that i mean he's a gold expert so i guess he would know that but i mean how you can predict something like that is beyond me but he predicted it and it happened so I'm thinking all of these gold sellers, business is good because I'm having trouble finding it. Mammoth gold pretty much sold out. Miss Chemison's is sold out. Matter of fact, I think they've been sold out for a while. All right, so there's three right there. One, two, three. Little bitty flakes or giant pieces of flower gold right there. And we got one more on the 60 mesh and we're done. This time I'm gonna shut up. I could pretty much pan just about every bit of the dirt off of this gold with the exception of a few black sands but pan this back and we have got three more pieces one two three pieces maybe a fourth maybe a super tiny piece of flower gold as well there that is we'll suck it up and we are done with the 60 mesh and on to the 40. All right, guys so this is my second batch my microphone wasn't working i apologize you probably saw the first batch with a lot of music what i did here was put my micro lens on this gopro like i was talking about earlier and see how it does when i give you guys the close-ups of the gold that is coming out of the pan i don't know how it's going to work tap this back Got a few pieces right there. Looks like we got three, six, nine, 12, 13 pieces. Suck that up and we got one more batch. It'll be a big batch of the rest of the 40 mesh. I probably should have done that in four batches. That is a lot of material. tap pop so we only got four out of all of that but different colored gold too we got a really shiny gold piece and then a couple other duller pieces there they are suck it up we are done with the 40 mesh and i am done for the night it is another day we are back in the garage and it is time to finish this pay dirt as fast as i can before a little man be a colin for me so let's pan down this is the uh Ooh, what is this this is the 20 mesh right here probably do this in three very easy to pan so i really can put a lot more in there than i have been let's go ahead and pan this all right i pretty much just panned the entire thing out 
Oh yeah, there we go. We got some gold. Two, four, six, eight, nine pieces. Move on to the next one. Okie dokie, got it stratified, now it's time to pan it. This is my second batch of 20, by the way. Five pieces of rock slash sand, and then I've got two, four, six pieces of gold right here. Sweet. Quick tap and we got gold. So what do we got there? Looks like we got five, 10, oh my God, I can't count. Four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 14 pieces. And yeah, we're done with the 20 mesh. I'm just gonna go ahead and pan my quarter inch because I know there's not gonna be any gold in this. So let's get this out of the way because I know there's not gonna be any gold in there. Plus I'm gonna get all the quartz out so I can put it in my quartz bowl. So I'm gonna do this in two. There is no quartz in this. Not cool, just all rocks. All right, let's pan this real quick. Nothing in there. Let's go to the tin mesh and that will be our last bit of dirt, right? Ooh, and there's the tin mesh. There's a ton of tin mesh in there. This is actually minus quarter inch plus 10. Tap it, no gold. So this is batch number two. a piece of gold that is so hard to tell but i think that yeah that's a piece of gold good lord it looked just like the rocks the rocks are really light colored some of them have a brownish yellow tint to them so i thought it was just another rock but no that's a piece of gold right there so cool we will suck that up and now we are on our last bit of material and there it all is oh that is a lot Sounds like there could be a piece of gold in there, but it could just be a big rock. Let's see if I still get that sound. Here we go, listen. I think we got a piece of gold in there. So I got two pieces and possibly a third itty bitty piece. We're done. All right, yeah, I wasn't gonna sit there and drag that pay dirt out because the material was just flying right off. It's so easy to pan that stuff. Here it is right here. I'm gonna dump it, clean it. We'll go take it upstairs. I gotta dry it too. Then we'll go upstairs, weigh it. You know the drill. We are back up in the room. I got my special guest with me who will not leave my microphone alone. He loves to tear everything up and he loves the little fuzzy part of my mic. So he's been chewing on it. You licking all the food off of my fingers from where I ate earlier. So let me get the gold over here and we'll take a look at it real quick. What are you doing, buddy? You're so tired. There it is. All right, so the next step is to weigh it and see how much we got. He is a sweet boy, but he loves to tear things up. Okay, I'm gonna set you down so I can finish. You want up here still? All right, I'll put you right here while we do this. You gonna make this hard for daddy? Yeah. Yeah, you keep yawning. So let's try to weigh this. Turn it on, zero it out. We are on grams. I dumped it all in there. Oh, wow. 1.086 is what we got. See, we got 1.086. Barely over a gram, but we got a gram. All right, let's get on the gold calculator, get a value and all that good stuff. See, bye-bye. <laughs> let's look at what we got. We're gonna put in 1.086 grams of gold. We will call it 24 karat. And gold price is $2,658.47. Calculate $92.82. That is awesome. We'll go to the percentage calculator. So I paid $97.90 out the door. This was about over a month ago. The gold price has already gone up again for a gram bag. So if you look on his website now, which again, about a month later, he's already bumped it up to $91.95. I paid, I believe it was $86 plus the shipping, which made it 
out to 9790. We'll calculate this and we got 94.8% return. That is really good. Yeah, so I guess I bought that Gold Bay pay dirt right before he jacked up the price a little bit more again. You know, gold prices keep going up. Pay dirt sellers are going to jack up the prices. But I love the fact that they're using shop pay because if you buy more of an amount, you don't have to pay the whole lump sum. You can cut it in installments. It's handy if you want to get a bigger bag. I like that shop app. I like when pay dirt vendors use that shop app because it makes it a whole lot easier to buy pay dirt from those vendors. But anyway, go to Bay as always. Great pay dirt. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hit the subscribe, like, share button. It helps my channel. Cost you nothing. I don't know why I'm pointing at you, like I'm scolding you for not subscribing, but I'm not. I'm just asking you to in a very stern manner. So I'm going to stop doing that. And I'm going to say I will see you on my next review. This is Heath saying peace and love. Bye.